Welcome to all. This is Kausalya, a working as assistant professor, in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, uh, in Erode Sangadhar Engineering College. Today, my topic is computer network, mm, yeah, introduction of computer network, the basic information regarding computer network. Okay. So before entering the topic, uh, I'm just um, have to know. Uh, what is meant by computer network and how it doesn't work how how it does work and then uh, what are the types in that and what kind of terminologies we are using here so these kind of things we're gonna see um yeah i'm gonna first slide first thing we have to know and we have to know the definition what is meant by computer network see the normally the word uh, computer network is defined that two or more devices is connecting together and sharing the some information or uh, some data information or data or resources is called as computer network yeah two or more devices is connecting or exchanging the data between the both so these kind of things is called as computer network as well Mm, computer network is normally uh, used for uh, sharing the information and and also it have a two point the one point is called as a transmitter which means the sender and another point is called as a receiver so one point is called as a sender part and another point is called as receiver part so between the both we are sharing some resources it's normally and technically these kind of process is called as um, computer network okay and yeah next we're gonna see that next this is the basic uh, representation the diagram representation for computer network and next one how how gonna how it does work in a computer network what are the, what are the processes work what are the processes behind the network okay so no, uh, basically computer networks or we just identified and we just specified that nodes and links okay node is maybe node is defined and illustrate the word is equipment uh, and external devices the devices maybe is a modem or router or switches etc so this equipment we can use and these kind of terminals we are using to connecting the computers two or more computers and next we go for link so the link may be classified as two kind of things the first one that was wired and second one it was wireless for example we go for wired system we can say that it was a cable and we go for wireless system uh, we can say that it was an air medium and air space medium okay so link should be is classifying the two things the one was wired and another one was wireless the wired is a wired for wired system uh, wire networking system uh, we can easily say the example that was cable and wireless system it was air space and free space so between the both I mean uh, based on this the computer process was done and next and each and every process and each and every part it having some rules and regulation that rules and regulation set of rules and regulation is called as a protocol even we go for a sending side or uh, we go for receiving side each and every side we have a some protocol the protocol the Particularly, the word protocol is means means that set of rules and regulations. Okay, so everything have a some protocol, and each each process is done within that kind of manner. And next, each devices have some IP address, that unique IP address, uh, that it helps to identify the system or devices very easily. Okay, so that's all and yeah even we started with the computer network the my topic uh, my topic is normally the basic uh, information regarding the computer network uh, so started the 
starting point i can i can say that uh, the computer network is normally two or more devices connecting and connecting together and sharing the information uh, from one places to another places and then uh, how it's working now it having some uh, uh, process it having some process that we can say that nodes and links if go for node it have some equipment and illustrate the some data communication and that equipment or that uh, terminal which helps to connect the device and we go for link link having classified as two kind of things the one was wired and another was wireless aspect of that uh, now we are in the port of protocols uh, protocol is means that set of rules and regulation whatever we are done within a computer network it have some rules so that rule in technically we can say the word we can use the word that was protocol and each devices have a some ip uh, ip address which means a binary number value that ip address is used for uh, specific specifiedly and identifying the each devices the next contains the diverse terminologies of computer network uh, we are having many terminologies here the first one network here yeah, we already seen that just devices connecting to uh, KDE and communicating each other and sharing the changing the data that kind of uh, process is a network mm, collection of computer network okay and we go for node uh, it was a one of the external device that we helps to uh, sharing the information and uh, connecting through the network uh, it gonna include the computer and server and printer router switches and have the have these are the things it's called as node and protocol uh, the word of protocol is a rules set of rules and regulation and it have a, some standard formula standard procedure uh, for examples of protocol uh, here that was HTTP and FTP and TCP. TCP it means that uh, transmission control protocol and uh, HTTP hyper transfer I mean hypertext transfer protocol. So these are the protocols is an example for the basic rules and uh, set of rules and regulations. So these are the things and topologies it have a many kind of topology we are using here that was star bus and mace hybrid topology. Mm, and the word topology is particularly and specifiedly defined arrangement of nodes is called as topology if and if it is goes on physical or log logically the arrangement of devices the arrangement of layout is called as topology and it includes more than three to four types is there uh, that means bus topology star topology and ring and then miss then finally tree and the last one hybrid topology and next one uh, service provider uh, so service provider it's provide a permission to functioning the network and uh, how it's performing and uh, what are the processes done behind the work and the provider it including the wireless communication also so this is also one of the main thing the provider means it give a permission, it give the access. And next one, it go for IP address. Mm, IP address is a, a numerical one, numerical identifier. Each and every devices have some IP to identify the devices. Okay, why? Because we are connecting more number of devices in particular area, right? Uh, so we have to uh, um, identify individual system with the help of IP address. So IP address is a uh, uh, normally we can use the word unique numerical identifier. Um, yeah. So then next, yeah, one more special one that uh, domain name system. See, normally a system cannot understand the human language, right? Uh, so a domain name system and this protocol mainly used for converting the human language to machine language so 
completely this process is done converting the information converting converting the data to our language to machine language um, in the form of ip address the binary numbers so it one this one was very special and firewall yeah this is also as, as it is saying uh, normally firewall is used for security purpose and we have to uh, control the traffic and we have to identify the error right so in based on this we are using in specific word it was firewall it's monitoring and controlling the network network and traffic of the network and it mainly used to protect the security and threats okay unauthorized access if suppose uh, any um, um, i mean any um, softwares and um, we are using many kind of softwares in the outside of the system right outside of the uh, domain um, so we are using firewall now it means authorized one so firewall is major things major thing playing major role in computer network and next one uh, types of computer network um, yeah they have a uh, more than four types and uh, yeah as the same content repeating here uh, resources or information uh, linking together and sharing the one places to another one um, that gonna say the that gonna define as computer network and it categorized and classified as many kind of things uh, that data should be is like uh, anything else anything anyone yeah the first one lan area network and then second one uh, personal area network and third one metropolitan area network and fourth one wide area network see lan pan man and van see we started with the topic of computer network and then we go for uh, what are the terminologies there and uh, what are the um, and we we seen um, what is meant by wired and wireless system wireless network and now we are in the types of networks so yeah many types is there but basically the major thing what these kind of i mean these four types is major playing major role first one lan local area network so we go for local area network the group of computer it's connecting in a small area so that small area is referred as like a, such as building or office and some specific room which is sharing the data or information within the room and within a, some small area it's called as a local area system local area network okay. um two or more yeah here also we are using two or more personal computers sharing the data with the medium using using wired system the wired we go for coaxial cables cables is having many types twister pair and coaxial cable like that yeah and then it was very inexpensive one and uh, yeah very less cost uh, adapter and hub also used for in these uh, local area networking devices so and the ethernet cable also used here and uh, yeah data is transferred in extremely fast okay uh, within the small area we have to transfer the data in very fast manner and then it have a some it, it have a, um, it having high security also within a period and within a area the data was not destroyed in many things so the data will transfer one one port to another cross but in a safe manner so the high security is very important so that will be providing local area network and next one uh, personal area network so personal area network is normally uh, uh, arranged in arranging or individual person is based on individual persons within a range of 10 meters uh, um, between between the 10 meters okay uh, yeah mainly used for personal work and personal use 
this area this kind of network it cover the area in 30 feet so that's all it very small area small uh, thing and uh, yeah personal area network uh, we had some examples it was laptop mobile phone and media player and playstation so the diagram representation also here so these things is a called as personal area network that's all and next one uh, for personal area we have a two kind of things that wire personal and wireless personal and we go for wireless personal and that we can say that for example wi-fi bluetooth and we go for wired personal uh, we are using the usb cable to sh sharing the data to one system to one device to another system another device for so that uh, types of network having many types the majorly we are seeing that uh, personal area network and then small area network and uh, land local area network personal area network and then uh, metropolitan area network and one more thing uh, for personal area network we have it separately we are seeing the two one wireless personal area and wired personal go for wireless it was bluetooth and wi-fi we go for wired that was usb cable just sharing the data and examples of personal area uh yeah the first one the body area network it's move with the person for example uh, we are having the mobile and with the person and the mobile networks move with the person if suppose i'm going to next room if i'm in a one room i want to go with the some other place now i will just keep in uh, i mean uh, i just want to go with some other place now i will um, move ahead with the, my mobile so these kind of establishing network and sharing the data to another one this is called as a body area network and small home office and offline network so these all things it happened within the 30 feet of uh, 30 feet which means the 10 meter distance so everything was uh, happened within the person it's completely depends on a person and within a very small area so these were the examples and next one uh, metropolitan area network so the word metropolitan it was a coverage area large coverage area and also it calls a geogra geographical area and it is interconnecting the different kind of lands in large network so normally government agencies we are using they are using only for metropolitan area network and it, it, it also it, it also have a it also uh, defined as a private area industries okay the private areas and then government agencies mainly used for this kind of networking and next one yeah various lanes we can connect it together and then sharing the informations um, for example the telephone exchanging line mm, yeah these are the reference the most widely using protocols and this having large geographical area it covered large area with a higher range so that's the metropolitan area network and this is for the basic uh, structural diagram and next one what are the uses see the for metropolitan it is used in many industrial for airline reservations and in colleges and in cities and military military communication and uh, and in banks and cities so these are the real time application for metropolitan me, me, metropolitan area network especially the colleges we are using many ways and wide area network so we go for wide area network this is also as it is same in metropolitan metropolitan area and it extended over large network Okay. it's bigger network it's quite normally comparing those three it was a large and very huge network bigger network than the LAN and yeah 
there is a no limitation for here no limited resources and we can using we can use large areas we can use for many um, many purpose for example the telephonic like and fiber optical cables and then satellite satellite things so these kind of things we are used we go for wide area networking system and uh, yeah one of the biggest one in the world government education business these kind of uh, industrial and then the huge um, demanding service is go for wide area networking system yeah this is what uh, wide area networking the first one lo uh, lan local area network so local area networks it have a some small coverage area and second one um for second one that was a, a personal area network the personal area which mainly used for uh, it mainly used in the uh, mainly used for a particular person and it is very smaller network and next one metropolitan metropolitical area and it uh, that also it was very huge network comparing those three wide area network is very very large for government purpose or government agencies and in education system so these kind of huge networking net networking system it's completely depend on wide area network system and then we go for examples the mobile broadband now we are using 5g network it's currently that's going to trend so that kind of network system mobile broadband it completely uh, Used with the help of wide area network, and these were the things. And yeah, private network. The bank is providing the private network for uh, yeah. We are just uh, for uh, we just to go for with the uh, particular banking system or any uh, ATM. We just having many informations, and uh, we are sharing the. data and we just getting the specific information in that so these kind of system it's completely private networking system is done with wide area network and what are the advantages in wide area network geographical and software resources and global business and definitely to have a high bandwidth in system for a mobile system so these are the things is done by wide area network network system and what are the disadvantages definitely we go for wide area large coverage area the security issues is there definitely it was there and definitely we need for firewall for controlling and then uh, identifying the anti virus and anti virus softwares um yeah, because a lot and lot of traffic issues is there right and the can we have to maintain the network flow and uh, uh, we have to identify the any attacks any uh, attacks happen means we have to identify that so for that we have to go for firewall and definitely it goes on a high cost it's not a normal right so to have a definite high co high cost system and we also facing the troubleshoot problem also so security issues main major problem for 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 here and types of architecture Yeah, two types of architecture is there. The first one client server, and second one peer to peer, which means P to P, point to point, peer to peer system. Yeah, first one client to server architecture. Uh, it was the one of the architecture system. It have a two one uh, that uh, server and client. Um, server normally server can manage the client. So. Uh, server node can manage the client node behavior so everything should uh, should have a responsibility for server and we go for peer to peer it was one to one one there is a not any concept of central server so each device is working freely and uh, free of working as either client or server so there is a no controlling system is there so every system done their work in individual It depends on peer-to-peer architecture system. For client, uh, 
server is the main one and server should follow the all kind of uh, process and server is the responsibility responsible for remaining nodes so that called as a clients so server have to monitor the behavior of client so this is the architecture one and then yeah networking devices uh, multiple devices we are interconnecting and that interconnecting um, process and the path multiple path we are using through the medium for sending and receiving the data mm, that media are having different types uh, maybe uh, the examples of routers which is hub and bridges so these are called as networking devices it's completely using as a medium to sharing the data to connecting the network to um, center to receiver that's all and the last one and the very important one network topologies i already i already told you that the topology the word is defined that layout of sheet arrangement i mean device arrangement arrangement of the system is called as topology and we can refer some other word that was layout of the system yeah it having many things point to point topology mesh star bus ring tree and hybrid first we go for point to point see simple one simplest com communication way just only we are having two nodes receiver node and transmitter node just point to point communication point to point provider which is sharing the information to sender and the receiver part can receive the data that's all and receiver have to returning the data to transmitter the transmitter have to receive it that's all so point to point provider it was simple and go for mesh topology uh yeah mesh topology is a devices is connected to other devices in particular channel so this was the structural representation um and this mesh topology hana classified as two two kind of things that are a configuration protocol and dynamic host configuration protocol etc yeah this was the representation within the channel we have to sh share the data that device is having two or more so that's so and go for star topology uh, star topology is having the special one that was hub hub is act as a central devices that should share the information to all those system so each and every system can connecting through the hub so hub is a central devices and this was playing the major role so that's why the point is given so star topology of all the devices connected in a single hub the central hub and the central node so all other nodes is connected to the central node so central node is a very important for star topology and this was the structural one and bus topology yeah here we can use the cable you know if the cable was a uh, damage and if any problem occur the entire system was wrong and every data is what it, it was uh, every uh, networking system was collapsed uh yeah the content was uh, bus topology is a networking type every computer of the device is connected in a single cable yeah that was the cable and it also bidirectional system um, multi point connection system if the cable was failure every yeah, i mean the cable is the backbone of the system uh, that was failure every topology is every uh, nodes have a crashes so this is thing so bus topology the main one the main content that was the cable okay and yeah this was the representation and ring topology see for go for ring topology it have some structural diagram it's like a ring format uh, ring connection ring connecting devices and this is in a technically we, we can say that the neighborhood devices neighboring devices okay unidirectional one and uh, each and every node connected between the two uh, neighborhood nodes and it also called as a dual ring topology okay and uh, yeah next one mm, tree topology here also we are having central hub um 
various type of star topology which is connecting together and this is also called as the hierarchical flow of data mm, yeah here uh, each and every secondary hub is connecting more devices so it is in a tree format this was the representation um, various star, star topologies connecting connecting together and perform performing with the help of central hub so central hub is uh, sharing the data to all uh, remaining all those systems and the last one hybrid topology hybrid topology it's an individual connection and it means that uh, it's a combination of star and ring topology uh, yeah combination of various types of topology and performing within a one particular period one particular system that should be called as hybrid topology uh, that nodes can take in any data from any nodes okay hybrid topologies so uh, ring topologies and then star topologies so these are the combining structural diagram so this is what the hybrid topology system so yeah um, the content what content was over we started with the uh, um, we started with the topic of communication I mean a computer network and then we just go for types and we go for uh, terminals and then we go for what are the we, we, we see in the examples and finally we came up the uh, examples of devices and then last one um, we end up the session um, with the topic of network topologies so we are having many topologies the important one star bus ring and hybrid and mesh topology yeah thank you